Crystal Springs police are hosting a vigil for those two trap workers in Capaya County. 16 WAPT's Ann Parker joins us live with details. Right now, family and friends of D. Hemphill and Emmett Shorter are gathering here just outside of the Crystal Springs Police Department for a prayer service. It's now a 24 operation to find them. Crews say they are exhausting every option. And the governor spent some time with both families earlier today. Our hearts and prayers go out to the family. I met with several members of the family of those that were involved in the uh, incident, uh, expressed our desire to bring in any necessary manpower, equipment necessary uh, to be able to continue to work this incident uh, to their satisfaction as quickly as we can. Uh, I can only imagine. But today marks day four in the search for them. Mine safety officials brought in new equipment and started pumping out water to prep for even more recovery equipment to be brought in tonight. But we are still hearing from people in the community frustrated that this isn't going any quicker. This is a great tragedy and um, it's also been an unprecedented event in mining history. And so I know a lot of people have been concerned about the speed or lack thereof of this operation. But again, in the history of mining and quarry operations in the United States, this is an unprecedented event. The focus right now is on safety. And no one is going to rush this operation and risk the lives of any of the other responders that are out here. Brothers Gravel Company said today they are thankful for the outpouring support and they're asking for prayers for the Hempel and Shorter families. Again, a prayer service is being held right here for both men. Right now, I am hearing they are asking for a miracle. We'll have much more from this service tonight on WAPT News at 10. For now, live in Crystal Springs, Ann Parker 16, WAPT News. We're hoping and praying for the best in this one, and thank you.